I know it sounds crazy, but I just infused this water with the future of air conditioning. Now these bubbles are what soft drink dreams are made of. And they're also responsible for that fizzy and sparkling effect that makes certain drinks refreshing and tasty. And they also cause hiccups. But did you know that you can also use this in air conditioning systems? Hmm, let's find out with the help of our expert here today. He is the head of research and development for air conditioning at ContiTech. So please welcome Dominic Kempf. Dominic, great to have you. Thank you for having me. Tell me, will I get hiccups from using the air conditioning? No, obviously not. No. Actually, what we see in your bubbles is CO2 as a natural gas, a natural fluid, and that can be used as refrigerant fluid. But wait a minute, isn't CO2 something we actually want to get rid of? Well, technically you are right there, but in this specific case, the CO2 we use is a waste product of all the major industry, which obviously is then you know, not needed, and we put that in the system. All right. You remember the 80s? Yeah. In previous generations of refrigerant fluid, we were talking about the ozone hole. Remember yeah, that? I remember. We used to talk about that in school a lot. Yeah, all that. And the previous generations of that refrigerant fluid, these chemical substances, they did deplete the ozone. Right. Now, this has been changed. So now we have no more issue with the ozone hole. So that means no more problems? Almost. Well, in this specific case, if this new refrigerant fluid comes to flame, and it's a flammable refrigerant fluid, mm -hmm. unfortunately, mm -hmm. it produces hydrofluoric acid. Wow, is that as dangerous as it sounds? It is actually one of the most dangerous substances that we know on our planet. I can show you. Show? Yeah. Experiments? I love this. Chris, no. I love your excitement, but this is way too dangerous. We could never ever do this here on such an environment. But can I leave this on? You're looking good, so, okay. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Well, let me show you what we have. Thank you. This is a glass that was treated with hydrofluoric acid. You know how glass is inert to any kind of, you know, aggressive fluids. Wow, that actually looks really aggressive. One of the other effects is that as the refrigerant fluid goes into the atmosphere because it permeates out of the systems, this is unavoidable unfortunately, it comes back down as tree fluor acid. Well, what does that do then? Well, actually tree fluor acid is harming our drinking water and all our basic nature. That sounds scary. It is scary. So am I able to use my, you know, air conditioning system just the way I, I'm used to it? or Chris, what's... don't worry about that. Your system is perfectly engineered, it's safe and sound, there's nothing to worry about. So back to my water and the carbonic acid. What benefits are there when using this in an air conditioning system, actually? Well, as you use the air conditioning system in the summer, there is the same efficiency of this natural refrigerant fluid versus chemical refrigerant fluid. Okay. This is the best part about CO2, because CO2 does work in the reverse mode of an air conditioning system. We change it and call it a heat pump. And this actually means you have the warm side in the car and the cold side outside. I get it. And the concept kind of reminds me of a refrigerator. Exactly right, Chris. Perfect engineering thinking. This is what we have here, a fridge. Inside okay. cold, outside, this is where we measure the temperature. And look at this. That is pretty warm. It is pretty warm. Compared to the room temperature anyway. Exactly. And this is the benefit that you use out of the CO2 air conditioning system when you reverse it in heat pump. It is really the great opportunity for all the electric vehicles that we see in the future to improve their driving range in the winter. When you have in the winter normally all your energy consumption in the motor, of course, but also in the heating of passenger and battery, mm -hmm. you can use that heat pump system and have a much, much higher efficiency. This basically means my electric car goes much worse in the winter than your car. But my car still looks good in the summertime, come on. Well, it does. But this is the product that we talk about. This is it? Yes. So simple? Well, might look simple. The details on the inside, and you can imagine the engineering makes the difference. I can imagine. 
And you know, no matter if you're using CO2 in highly complex products and components like that, or for your drinks, there's one thing we can agree on. The future is sparkling. And there's one more thing we need to do, Dominic. And that is, you know what's coming, right? Yep. A nice picture. One, two, three. Eight. Cheers. I'd like to thank you very much, Dominic, for being here today with us. Great, thank you. I'd like to thank you for watching and be sure to tune in again next time for the next episode of The Garage. Until then, stay safe and see you then. Bye.